sorry, officer. I didn't realize I was going so fast. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been driving a Nissan 350Z in the great state of Georgia, where the Nissan 350Z is the most ticketed car in the state. Where am I? In fact, 18% of Nissan 350Z owners in Georgia have tickets on their records. All right, well, thanks for the warning. No problem. Hey guys, uh, guess what? It's not really a cop. It's me, James, from Donut. Today we're gonna be looking at the most ticketed cars in every state in America, and at the end, we're gonna find out which car will get you in the most trouble with the law. Welcome to Donut. It's the holiday season, which means family parties, gift shopping, and a lot of time in the garage getting that project car ready for the spring. But with all that time occupied, how are you supposed to make a good meal? Well, today's sponsor, Factor, is a holiday miracle. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Factor helps you avoid those expensive delivery apps with delicious, nutritious, no nonsense food that is ready in a snap. Factor chef prepared meals support wholesome eating, made simple, and their menus are updated weekly and include over 27 meals and over 33 add on options. You can choose your favorite meals or let Factor craft your order based on your taste preferences and meal history. This week, I went with a Chef's Choice box, which includes chicken and mushroom marsala, three bean vegan chili, chimichurri ground beef bowl, grilled chicken ala vodka, pesto salmon, barbecue pork sloppy joes, and these mango, tropical fruit, and strawberry banana smoothies. So this holiday season, get great food without the festive fuss getting in the way with Factor. Head to go.factor75.com slash donut60 and use code donut60 to get 60% off your first Factor box. Now, don't mind if I do. Oh man, that's good. Without further ado, let's kick this master list off with Connecticut. I believe I am pronouncing that correctly. The most ticketed car in Connecticut is the Mazda 6. Somehow 9% of all Mazda 6 drivers have a speeding ticket on their record more than any other car in Connecticut. Now we're gonna get in our car and we're gonna travel a few miles south to the beautiful state of New Jersey, home of Formula Drift's gauntlet track. And I imagine there's a lot of Vaughn Gittin Jr. fans in this state because the number one most ticketed car in New Jersey is a Ford Mustang. Nearly 10% of Mustang drivers have a speeding ticket in Jersey. But here's an unsurprising fact. New Jersey isn't the only state where Mustang is the most ticketed vehicle. It's also number one in Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-P-P-P-P-P-I, where the likelihood of getting into a car accident is higher than any other state in America. Coincidence? I think not. Now let's go back to the East Coast. Let's take a quaint little jaunt over to New Hampshire, a state that I didn't even know was a state. I thought it was a town. New Hampshire is where the patent was filed for the first steam powered road vehicle in 1882. No, despite popular belief, the long steam tricycle is not the most ticketed car in the state of New Hampshire. It's actually the Toyota Camry. 10.1% of Camry drivers have gotten pinched by the cops for speeding in the granite state. Also, you might be wondering how we even found these cars, because as it turns out, you can't just Google most ticketed car in every state. So we reached out to professional data scientists at a company called Insurify, and their database allowed us to put together this list. They help people find car insurance coverage. There are bros. We'll put a link for their site in the description. Now back to the list. You know what's nicer than granite? Silver. So let's take a drive down to the Silver State. Nevada is home to the loneliest road in America, Highway 50. It spans nearly 500 miles from Reno all the way to Great Basin National Park. But if you're taking a drive down this lonely road, you might want to drive something that's not a Subaru Impreza because 11% of Imprezas receive speeding tickets on this stretch of road, making it the most ticketed car in Nevada. And it's not just Nevada. Imprezas are also the most ticketed cars in Illinois. 
Now let's go back to the East Coast again. Talking about Rhode Island, home of the world's largest bug. They also like to drink something called coffee milk in Rhode Island. And maybe all that coffee milk is why 11.4% of the state's Ford Fusion drivers have gotten speeding tickets. The fusion between coffee, milk, and cars equals ticket, apparently. Somehow, by the grace of God, our next car isn't quite as peppy as the speed demon known as the Ford Fusion. But that doesn't stop it from being the most ticketed car in both West Virginia and Oklahoma. That's right, boy. If you're a Sooner or a Mountaineer fan, you might want to steer away from this next car. Obviously. I'm talking about the speedy speed boy referred to as the Kia Forte, named after one of my favorite comedians and former SNL cast members, Will Forte. You might be asking yourself, why is the Kia Forte the most ticketed car in two states? And to tell you the truth, pal, I don't know. But what I do know is that Kia Forte owners are diehard enthusiasts, and apparently they don't take speed limits very seriously. And that brings us to the Pine Tree State. Now there may only be 380,228 cars in the entire state of Maine. Sounds more like minor to me. But one of those cars has to be the most ticketed. That's facts. That's how this list works. This car is popular for speeders but it's also one of the most popular cars of all time. I am of course talking about the Honda Civic. Nearly 12% of all Civic drivers in Maine have run afoul with the local constable to the little And that is what they call the cops in Maine. On the other hand, one of the least popular cars of all time is the Mercury Milan. I'm digging through my brain right now. I don't even know what this mofo looks like. This Ford Fusion lookalike was discontinued in 2011 and nearly 11 years after the last one rolled off the factory floor, the slow Mercury Milan has a ticket rate of over 12% in the state of Michigan. Our next vehicle sells 160,000 units every three months. It's consistently the best selling vehicle in the United States and apparently it's popular with lead-footed scofflaws. I'm of course talking about the Ford F-Series. Ford's been making F-Trucks since the 1940s and current models have V8s that put out anywhere from 250 to 700 horsepower if you include the F-150 Raptor, which I do. So if you imagine that kind of power paired with the beautiful, sweeping, scenic roads of Montana, you might not be surprised to find that over 13% of F-Series drivers have speeding tickets. For our next state, we're gonna have to take a long, wet drive to a little place that I like to call Hawaii. The most ticketed car in Hawaii is a car with a reputation for being driven recklessly. I'm talking about the infamous Nissan Altima. Now, I don't know what it is about the Nissan Altima energy, but it's chaotic and it scares me. And if you're driving an Altima in Hawaii, there is a 14% chance that you've gotten a speeding ticket there. <sighs> Vacation's over. Time to go back to one of the worst states in America. Of course, I'm talking about Arizona. The last continental US state to enter the union. The most ticketed car in this state is the Infiniti Q50, which is basically an extra luxurious Nissan Altima, except it's got a twin turbo V6 and rear or all wheel drive configuration. So it's no wonder that 14.6% of Q50 drivers in Arizona get tickets for speeding. But our next car has an even higher percentage of tickets, the Acura TL. I hate them because my stepdad drove them. And there's a surprising amount of enthusiasts who love and modify these cars. Apparently, these guys also love to speed, especially in the state of Maryland, where 15% of Acura TL drivers have tickets. And that brings us to Florida for some reason. Now you might think the most popular car in Florida is a Polaris slingshot with gator skin seats or a questionably imported Skyline, but you might actually be surprised to find that the Honda Genesis Coupe is the most popularly ticketed car in that state. Out of mind blistering, 15.2% of drivers getting tickets while driving their Genesis Coupes. You know what the Genesis has? Two turbos. And you know what Florida has? 
guys who look like my friend Max. I think this is a perfect opportunity to let you guys know that not only do we make videos, we make clothes, including this, the Return of the Boost Creep shirt. We got turbos on our cars now, boy, and we wanted to celebrate by bringing the gang back, the Boost Creeps. Let everyone know that you're a Boost Creep with this limited edition Boost Creep shirt, only available at DonutMedia.com. Donut, we make clothes. They're really high quality. I really like them. Uh, we design them all together. We're friends, and it's a fun thing that we do. Thanks, Max. In New Mexico, home of the world's largest pistachio, the most ticketed car is none other than the Chevy Camaro. You might be as shocked as I am to find that the Camaro owners like speed. 16.5% of Camaro owners in New Mexico have landed in the hot seat with the foot. Speaking of a New Mexico, this place used to be part of it. I'm talking about Texas. <laughs> you might be assuming, hey, this is gonna be a truck. For sure. I've seen Friday Night Lights. Which truck gets the most speedy tickets? Well, guess what? What if I told you that it's not a truck at all? In fact, it's the opposite truck. It's a car. And in fact, it's a very small car from a very small island named Japan. Yes, sir, I'm talking about the Subaru BRZ, the most cowboy car you can get. Apparently, 228 horsepower is enough to put 17% of BRZ owners in trouble for breaking the law. That's the same percentage of G37 owners that have speeding tickets in Mr. Beast's home state of North Carolina. In Vermont, home of Benjamin and Jeremy, the most law-breaking car is a different Japanese car, the freaking Honda Accord. The Accord might not seem like a car that would get in this much trouble, but modern Accords are surprisingly quick. Actually, all new cars are pretty fast, but not as fast as our next car, one close and near and dear to my heart, the Nissan 350Z. Like I said at the beginning of this video, the Z is the most ticketed car in Georgia. Now surprisingly, this next car is the most ticketed car in eight states. Those eight states are Louisiana, South Dakota, Kentucky, Arkansas, Alaska, Wyoming, North Dakota, and Alabama. And by car, I obviously mean truck. The Chevy C1500, AKA the Silverado. Why is Chevy's pickup number one in so many states? My best guess is because those are all hard working states where hard working pickup trucks are working hard. The hard working people are driving them pickup trucks and they work hard and then they wanna go eat hard with their family, keep ranching. And they work so hard in Alabama in particular that over 18% of Chevy truck drivers have speeding tickets while driving their Chevy trucks. But somehow, some way, this isn't even the most ticketed Chevy on the list. Our next car is a Chevy Cruze. I told you it wasn't the last Chevy on the list. Chevy's bargain hatchback has managed to get 18.7% of owners in trouble in the state of Nebraska, also known as the birthplace of Kool-Aid. But that's not the last tiny hatchback on this list, boy. Let me introduce you to the Mercedes B-Class. This entry-level Benz has sold millions worldwide, but in the US, it was only available as an EV and cost over $40,000 without any options. They sold only 4,200 units here from 2014 to 2017, but somehow that hasn't stopped it from being the number one choice for speed in New York, where 19% of B-Class drivers forget about the speed limit. I'm in the waste management business. <laughs> on the other side of the country, the other entry-level Mercedes is one of the most ticketed as well. That's right, in Oregon, C-Class drivers are the most egregious offenders of the law, 20% or one in five drivers have tickets while driving those cars. And that brings us to our next car, which is the most ticketed in Tennessee and South Carolina. I'm not surprised to see this car on this list at all. Infinity G35. Over 20% of South Carolina's G35 drivers have a ticket. Slow down, dudes. Next car, Dodge Dart. The first Dodge on the list. The Dart was created as a simple replacement for the Caliber which was a replacement for the Neon. They only made darts for about four years because 
apparently they were terrible, but it still manages to be the most illegal car in three states, Missouri, Utah, and Virginia, where 20.7% of drivers got popped by the bubblegum boys. Now, Maryland and Ohio might be 458.9 miles away from each other, but they have one thing in common. Audi A4 drivers are up to no good on the road, 21% of these dastardly Audi drivers have speeding tickets. Our next car is an Audi A4 made by Volkswagen, the Jetta. It's the most ticketed car in four states, Delaware, Idaho, Wisconsin, and Washington DC, which I'm pretty sure is in a state. Why is it on the list? Because Samuel L. Jackson is from there, okay? Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I bet there's a very slim chance that Samuel L. Jackson drives a Jetta, but if he did, he'd have a 21.4% chance of having a speeding ticket on his record. And he'd never be allowed to get any snakes off of any plane ever again. We're down to the top five. The drivers of these cars are the most law-breaking criminals in the country. Number five, all the way from frickin' Minnesota, nearly 22% of owners of this Korean sedan have been ticketed for speeding. Maybe they were in a hurry on their way to the Crayola experience at the Mall of America. Whatever the case, all I know is the most ticketed car in Minnesota is the Kia Optima. Down to number four, and oh, it's a familiar little friend. You thought the Chevy Spark was gonna be the last Chevy on this list? Think again. It's the Camaro, again, only this time, we're talking about Camaros from Washington State, where 22.3% of drivers were ticketed while driving one. Getting the bronze medal, AKA third place for this unfortunate competition is quite the shocker. A humble little Chrysler known as the 200. No, not the 300. No, not the 100, which doesn't exist. I'm talking about the 200. This front wheel drive sedan isn't exactly known for raw power and 23% of Chrysler 200 drivers have been in trouble with the law for speeding specifically. And that brings us to number two. If you know anything about doing naughty things in cars, which I do, you'll completely understand why this next car is on the list. Yes, I am talking about the Dodge Charger. When you sell a car with like 800 horsepower, there's gonna be a lot of speeding tickets, okay? What is surprising is that it's only the top car in two states. Firstly, Indiana, home of Indiana Jones. And secondly, Iowa, a state which to my knowledge, produces a lot of corn. So it's no wonder the 24% of Charger owners have speeding tickets on their record in that state. Finally, we've reached the number one most crime committing car by percentage state in the whole entire union. If you've been keeping track, you might've been wondering when this one was gonna show up. Taking the gold medal for tickets in California, Pennsylvania, Colorado, and the entire United States in general. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion of tickets. I'm talking about the Subaru WRX. The WRX has a rich history of all wheel drive hooning. These cars have a ton of aftermarket support and die hard enthusiasts. And that's exactly why we are building two WRXs right now for a high low. Do I regret it? Absolutely. How many engines have we gone through in two cars? The real reason it's on this list is because in Colorado, 25.1%, over a quarter of WRX owners have been given tickets while driving those cars. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks again uh, to Insurify for talking to us on the phone for so long. Guys, there's smart people out there and most of them will talk to you if you reach out. Uh, if you want to learn about their methodology and uh, every type of science they use to curate this list, we're including uh, that in the description below. Again, go to donutmedia.com. We make clothes. I'm very, very proud of them. You know what? Go pick up a wrench. Go out to your garage. Rattle can something. Call up a friend. Spend the weekend doing something fun and uh, safe, but stupid. And uh, if you have a camera or a phone, film it. This job is awesome, and honestly, it's not that hard. All right, hope to see you guys on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Uh, have fun.